First thing is a built-in database. Uh, so now uh, you can uh, import, uh, store, and access your data uh, from the model in a very um, structured and easy way. So uh, those of you guys who have been to uh, this morning's workshop has already, uh, have already seen uh, how to import and use the data. So, uh, but for those who, uh, who hasn't, uh, we will I will show just one single, let's say, a uh, uh, usage scenario of the database again. And I would ask Nikolai to uh, show to Nikolai, what is that you're going to show us now? I'm going to show how to um, import tables from an Excel file to any logic built-in database and how to create a agent, an agent population based on that table. Here I have prepared um, an Excel file. I'll show you the contents of it. Uh, so it's, uh, I'm going to start start making a model of a crude oil pipeline network. So I have here an Excel file with tables, uh, terminals, uh, tanks inside terminals, pipelines, uh, routing, and uh, uh, commodities. Uh, so th this uh, Excel file fully describes uh, uh, the input data I will build uh, the model based on. So now I create a new model here. I will type the name. No, no, thanks. As you can see now, in uh, since Analogic 7.2, uh, there is a database uh, element uh, inside each uh, model. And uh, now I choose here to import uh, database tables and uh, select here this Excel file. Here are original sheet names uh, in this uh, uh, Excel file and uh, names uh, of uh, new tables uh, inside the Neologic built-in database, and uh, there is an option for automatic data updates uh, on each model startup. I can check it. Okay, uh, import has, has finished. Uh, we can observe these uh, tables, uh, terminals, uh, routing, uh, etc. There are different options for sorting, uh, filtering uh, in this uh, table editor. So it looks like uh, Excel table, but is inside uh, any logic. Uh, now I'll create a population of uh, terminals. I switch to agent palette, palette and drag the agent icon onto the canvas. Uh, so. I'm going to create a population, so I choose this option here on this wizard and uh, type the name. Okay, I will use uh, this uh, database uh, table option uh, to create my population. And on the next page, uh, here is a choice for uh, table from built-in database. We already have several tables. I choose uh, terminals uh, and uh, press next. And uh, what has happened? Analogica analyzed the columns from the database table and suggested to create parameters in new agent type with uh, corresponding names uh, and uh, types. So there are name and the location parameters uh, of uh, agent which we created. And here I add one more special type of parameter, GIS location name. It will be read from column name. So, so there are different options uh, to place agent, uh, agents initially on the GIS space, on continuous space to set in the initial speed of agent based on the uh, particular column in the database table. 
for animation, I will use, uh, for example, this one. Next, and I choose GIS space type and press finish here. And Analogic has just created a, our new population. And uh, here on the properties of this population, uh, you can see our new changes. Uh, so the population is loaded from database now. And uh, this is the name of table. Uh, these are parameter mapping options. Uh, and there are different uh, choices, customizations on this uh, properties page. Now, um, actually, these uh, terminals are located uh, on the area of United States, so I plan the map here, zoom a little bit. Uh, and that's it, uh, now uh, I'm ready to run this model. Now Neologic accesses an online server to obtain coordinates based on the location names. And here you can see terminals located in a corresponding cities. So it's like an initial static structure of the model. If I click on this population, I can see the <coughs> names and parameters of uh, these uh, <coughs> agents. Uh, if I double click here on icon, here you can see that uh, name and location parameters of uh, each agent, they have been loaded uh, from the database table. Uh, now uh, I'm going to show you uh, this model already built uh, and finished. So I will close this uh, sample and uh, go to welcome page. By the way, this is a Enologic, uh, uh, this is a draft of uh, Enologic 7.3, uh, upcoming release. And here you can see a filtering feature in uh, examples. So I type here just oil and choose crude oil pipeline network. This model has this, uh, these database tables uh, and uh, on the structure of main block, the, there are populations of terminals. Uh, all this uh, mapping is, is the same as I just created. Uh, you know the, the draft model, and uh, if we go inside terminal, oh, so, so, sorry, um, if we start this model, okay, uh, here I, I will. Speak speed up it a little bit. Uh, you can see these uh, terminals and pipes between them, uh, different uh, uh, batches of oil traveling from one terminal to another. And these are some internals uh, of the model. You can click uh, on a terminal here to observe uh, how the crude oil passes through it. So this model, it utilizes a new analogic fluid library. The database is as portable as the model itself. It, it, it kind of lives with the model. So when the, when the model is exported, the database is exported with the model. So when you uh, leave your model with a client, the data uh, uh, is, is also there.